Hi, everybody. So now I want to give a little introduction to random variables. Um, a random variable is basically a measurement uh, that you make on a random event. And it, so it converts random events into numbers uh, that you can then do other kinds of math on. So um, to be more specific, let's suppose you start with a, um, a sample space x. And um, you have a probability function p. And by definition, a random variable on x is just a function from x to the real numbers. So it converts events or outcomes into real numbers. So here's a very simple example. Suppose x has two elements, heads and tails. It's our coin flipping example. And the probability of getting heads is p. p is some number between 0 and 1. Let's define a function from x to r, which says that f of heads is 1 and f of tails is 0. This is an example of a random variable. It's called the Bernoulli random variable. With parameter p. Now, uh, how does the randomness come into it? Well, uh, you can ask if you have a random variable, then you can ask, uh, and you can choose, you, uh, let's say, a subset of the real numbers. Then you can ask, what is the probability that um, my function, my measurement f, happens to land in the set u. Now, for example, what is that? What what am I really saying here? Well, I'm really saying, what is the probability of the set of outcomes x, where f of x lands in the set u? This is called f inverse of u. It's the set of points in x so that f of them apply to u. It's not, there's not an inverse function here. This is just notation. And um, this is by definition the probability that f is in u. So that's kind of abstract. Let's look at our Bernoulli case. It's very simple. Um, if we take a set u in the real numbers, let's say uh, then we ask, so if f is if f is our Bernoulli with parameter p, then the probability that f is in u is well, it's the probability of the measure of the set of x in x such that f of x is in u, but of course x only has two elements. It only has heads and tails. So let's think about what u is. If u is just the set 0, then the set of x in x so that f of x is in u, this is just the set of x so that f of x equals 0. And um, that's just t. It's just tails. And so the probability of that is 1 minus p. So um, the probability uh, that f is in the set 0 is 1 minus p. But even also the probability, for example, that f is in the set, oh, I don't know, minus a half a half is also 1 minus p because 
the only elements of x are heads and tails. Heads goes to 1, so f of heads is not in u, but f of tails is in u. So f inverse of u is still just tails. Now, in the, in a case like this where the set x is finite, uh, it's overkill to use the real numbers. And you could really just think about individual values uh, in the reals. But um, for continuous random variables, the, the more complicated thing can be useful. Let's look at another example. Suppose x is our old friend multiple coin flipping. So it's n copies of uh, n Cartesian copies of the set T and H. So it's the set of sequences of heads and tails of length n. And we assume that these are independent, uh, independent coin flips. So the probability of any one of them is just 1 over 2 to the n. Uh, sorry, that's not right. Uh, the probability of any particular sequence with is p to the number of heads, 1 minus p to the number of tails. Now, here we have, we can introduce n random variables, f sub i as i goes from 1 to n, and f sub i of a sequence of coin flips is f of xi, where f is Bernoulli. So that's a fancy way of saying that f i of a sequence is 1 if, f, if the ith one is ahead, and 0 if the ith flip is a tail. And now we can take these things and we can add them together and we can make a random variable f, which is f1 plus f2 plus, plus fn. And f of a sequence is the sum of f1 of the sequence plus f2 of the sequence uh, plus fn of the sequence. And if you think about that, each of these terms is, is 1 if the ith element is a head, and it's 0 if the ith element is a tail. So this is actually just equal to the number of heads in the sequence. Now, the possible values of f are 0, 1, up to n, because the number of heads is somewhere between 0 and n. What is the probability that f is equal to k? Well, put another way, this is the probability that f is in the set k, just sitting inside of r. And that's equal to the probability of the set of sequences such that f of that sequence is equal to k. But f of the sequence is the number of heads. So this is equal to the probability of measure of the set of sequences such that they have k heads. And this we've seen before in our discussion of the binomial distribution. This is, there are n choose k sequences with k heads. And we know that each sequence has probability p to the k, 1 minus p to the n minus k. And so we see that the probability of f equaling k is n choose k, p to the k, 1 minus p to the n minus k. And for that reason, f is called the binomial random variable. So it's values with parameters n and p.
So its values are uh, 0, 1, up to n. And the probability of it taking any one of those values is given by this binomial distribution that comes from sequences of coin flips.